Hiya, before the video starts, I want to give out a disclaimer that this script was made of July of last year. I had to change the script a bit because it had information that I did not want on the internet. That out of the way, content warning, this video will have mentions of... Please enjoy. I got my blood drawn once or twice before, and some were even good experiences because I'll be bawling my eyes out half the time. As you can tell, I hate getting my blood drawn. I don't think the needle's what scares me, it's just the idea of taking a whole ass tube of your own dang blood and possibly doing some weird ass experience on them which I'm assuming is cloning. Now thankfully, I don't ball my eyes out while getting my blood drawn, but it gives me so much anxiety. That's why I try to find something to distract myself, like music from a group of queer theater kids. Since the 2018 to early 2019, I had a therapist who was leaving soon due to her personal life. However, while discussing about her leave, she noticed my behavior and soon concluded I may have ADHD. Just, just a rundown what ADHD is. Ahem, <clears throat> ahem. Attention Deficiency Hyperactivity Disorder, also known as ADHD, a chronic condition including attention difficulty, hyperactivity, and impulsiveness. ADHD often begins in childhood and can persist into adulthood. It may contribute to low self-esteem, trouble relationship, and difficulty at school or work. My therapist gave me a decision, either to finish up therapy and pretend to be mentally sane, or continue therapy. For obvious reasons, I choose to continue therapy because like, what if I do have ADHD? Eventually, she told my mom about my symptoms and she mentioned something when I was 3 to 5 years old. She noticed how hyperactive I was. So she took me to the doctors and said I might develop ADHD later on to the future, which <coughs> <coughs> Soon enough, my therapist sent me up with one of the nurses here to give me a diagnosis and a high chance I'll be prescribed with some medicine. The nurse asked me some personal questions like my age, birthday, but soon she asked this question. Did you ever have any suicidal thoughts? No, not at the moment, but last year I did. Well, guess what, dipshit? It's not ADHD. It's your suicidal thoughts from last year. When she reviewed this conclusion to my mom and therapist, everyone was on board with it. But for some reason, I wasn't. Because what the fuck? How is my last year's suicidal thoughts are the cause of my very obvious ADHD symptoms? But whatever! It's not like I could self-diagnose myself. The nurse did prescribe me medications for my forgetfulness, which seemed awfully sketchy. Like, she never said the name of it, so I don't know out of these medicines are it. Or maybe I didn't listen, because receiving information like this goes like one ear to the other. She also gave me an appointment for the nearest clinic to get my blood drawn to see if I can handle it. Even after she said all of that, my gut had a bad feeling about it. I knew it wasn't it. I knew it wasn't my last year's suicidal thoughts. But again, it's not like I can self-diagnose myself. Fast forward to the clinic appointment. Now, remember when I said I used the ball like a baby when getting my blood drawn? Yeah, this was it. When I was seated, I was legit tearing up in fear. My dad noticed this and was like, just look at your phone, it'll be all over before you know it. Which I did. However, I was listening to music before being seated. So when they started drawing my blood, the more I turned up the volume. But the catch is, I didn't have my headphones that day. So while other people were getting their blood drawn, all they hear is this. Wake up, get up, get up there. I think they took three to four tubes of my blood. I don't know, I was too busy having a mini anxiety attack. And all we have to do is sit and wait. Guess what? They never called us back. Holy shit. Maybe I couldn't handle the medicine, but either way, they could have called my parents and they would tell me about it, which they didn't. So yeah, the clinic mainly stole my blood. Slap that title on a YouTube video. In the spring of 2020, unfortunate events happened and I landed in the mental hospital. I had a meeting with the doctors and like that nurse, he asked me similar questions. Eventually, he asked, have you ever taken any medications? Oh ho ho, let me spill some tea right here. I told him about the nurse in the vampire clinic. He understands my situation and he will ask me more about my ADHD later during my stay. It was the second to last day of the hospital. I had a meeting with my mom, the doctor from before, and some lady. I forgot what her purpose was. The doctor soon diagnosed me with ADHD and the hospital's pharmacy will give me this medication that I forgot in the name of. So haha, take that nurse, turns out I did have ADHD. I'm supposed to clap there. <laughs> Thank you so much for sticking with me and being ever so patient. 
I wanted to revamp my channel for a while, if you haven't noticed. And since I haven't done a speed faint ramble for like a year, I decided to do that for my epic comeback. But I wanted to spice things up a bit and give you guys a story time, because I'm talkative and annoying. However, if you still want content from me but hate the long wait, I suggest following my Instagram. My current fixation is a bunch of running cookies, and I even have commissions open if anyone wants that. The art commissions will help me open my very first Etsy shop, where I'll be selling keychains, stickers, pins, and so much more. All of that will be linked in the description. It was a pleasure greeting you, but it was my time to go. See you all next time! So I talked to my mom of what happened to the clinic, and she was like, Oh, they called back. We just didn't agree to it. And I'm like, oh, why not? And she was like, the medications she prescribes were very sketchy. So ha, take that! That nurse did not know what she was doing. Also, I'm going to say this now before anyone else does. Yes, I am safe. I would be making slash mentioning me going to the hospital if I was unsafe. That's not what I am. So I better not see any comments saying, are you okay? Because short answer is, yes, I am. Please stop asking.